What's up? What's happening? What's good? Boxing Source here with another video. And this one is to talk about the third fight that's slated to happen between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder for the WBC and Ring Magazine Heavyweight Championships. Uh, we've kind of discussed over the past couple of weeks or so that the fight is slated to be in December, right? Um, you know, we thought that it would be around that third weekend of December, which is December 19th, uh, but it has been uh, practically announced that uh, December 19th is a, a bad date um, to hold it uh, due to uh, college football um, scheduling for their conference championships to happen on that date, December 19th. Which to me is kind of a you know a strange thing because I feel like um, pretty much all of those conference championships would be completed um, by the time pretty much I'd say an hour hour and a half before uh, the actual fight would take place. Um, but uh, it looks like I guess they're trying to hold that fight in Las Vegas. Um, you know, they said that they wanted to hold an Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Um, but I kind of feel like that isn't the whole thing when it comes to this particular fight. Um, I know that there's been, you know, stuff that's been up in the air about um, a so-called reluctancy uh, for one fighter to actually have the fight. If you've uh, listen to the podcast. We've had a certain uh, caller say that um, Tyson Fury is kind of reluctant to have the third fight. I doubt that. Um, and of course, we have the news about what's happened in Deontay Wilder's camp, which was something that I probably saw about months ago. You know, after the immediate results of the fight that happened on February 22nd, okay? Um, but you also have this thing that hasn't necessarily been brought up yet, okay? Um, there was basically a two-fight deal after, um, you know, the first fight took place. And, you know, when they had the thing where Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury were going to fight once again, which we had the thing on February 22nd. Um, there was that whole rematch clause thing, right? Um, but that kind of like set up a two-fight deal, so to speak, right? Now, Tyson Fury was, like I said, able to win seventh round stoppage. Now, it was a joint effort, a joint pay-per-view effort in a sense, and that there was one side that was going to handle most of the stuff for one fight, and then the other side was going to handle most of it for the next fight that comes out, okay? Um, for the fight in February, that was kind of handled more on the ESPN top rank side, And so for this fight, it's supposed to be mostly handled on the Fox side. Now, like I said, it's a joint pay-per-view. But it's going to be interesting here for this in in instance, excuse me, instance, right? We've just had Bob Barham that was on the conference call for Vasil Lomachenko in his upcoming fight against Teofimo Lopez for October. And he mentioned three fights. Lomachenko Lopez, Crawford Brook, and thing with Burchell versus Valdez. He said that all three of those fights would be on the ESPN. Nothing on pay-per-view, nothing on that ESPN Plus or anything like that. Interesting because he didn't mention a fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Now, he's kind of mentioned the about where it's going to happen, Las Vegas, Legion Stadium, but as far as like 
if it's going to be on pay-per-view, that hasn't been set. And it's usually with Fox that this particular pay-per-view is going to be handled, right? So if Fox and PBC are supposed to be handling the pay-per-view and they've basically set their schedule, then where's this thing for the start fight? Because if you have one side in top rank that's trying to get as many of their fights as possible under the ESPN contract just on ESPN to fulfill their side of the deal. And Aram is not really boosting up anything in reference to pay-per-view at this particular time because of the pandemic. Nobody has any money. They're not going to be able to pay money to for these pay-per-views because there's hardly anybody that has that type of money right now. Everybody's struggling in America. You've got to have these fights on ESPN so that they'll be able to enjoy it and not have to pay five cents. But nothing has been said about Fury versus Wilder that's slated for December. So you know what? Don't be surprised. Even though they say they have a venue that they don't necessarily have a date locked in because hmm, they want to have this particular fight on pay-per-view. It's too much money behind it. It's too much money with the guarantees for both fighters. So because of that, you can't have it on regular television. But on the Fox side, there's only one pay-per-view schedule, and that is Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia, November 21st. But nothing else after that. So, are we going to have this third fight this year? I don't know. Do you know? Let me know. Also subscribe. Catch the podcast. Sunday, 730. That's how we do. Till then, I'm out. Peace.